thanks again for stopping by today. I'm going to show you how to make the most adorable baby blankets. And your friends and family are going to think that you spent hours working on them. But these are so easy. Let me start by showing you a collection of ones I have. And then further on in the video, like I always do, I'll show you how to go ahead and make your own. This is a really adorable fabric uh, baby blanket that this piece that's already quilted and put together, they were selling these on sale clearance because I think it was the end of winter. So they were coming out with the summer and spring fabrics. So I was able to pick up these panels um, for about four or five dollars. It was really, really cheap because usually these panels of fabric, which is exactly a yard um, and perfect size for a baby blanket, are usually way more expensive than that. And then, what as you can see, here's what it looks like. I, I purchased a, a piece of the quilt backing and attached it to it. Um, what I'm probably going to do is with my sewing machine later, go through and do some of the quilt stitches. So that's one baby blanket that's super cool and super cute. Um, this is another one. And let me tell you, I've had these blankets like laying around forever in pieces needing to be put together. And I'm so glad I finally got around to doing it and being able to share that with you. This is another cool, um, oh, it's upside down, baby blanket uh, motif design. It's really adorable. And you can also use these for wall hangings, um, nursery decorations, pick, put it in a picture frame, um, whatever floats your boat. Um, let's see, where's the other one? Oh, and this, oh my God, this fabric they had at Walmart. Yes, they did, girls. Yes, they did. Oh, this is lovely. You'll see me working on this one in the video. And they already have the quilt stitching on there front and back. So all you have to do is just attach your blanket binding. And if you can see this, this is the most adorable, precious fabric, most beautiful fabric I've ever seen in my life. I, I actually may have to go back and get some more of this and make a quilt for, you know, our bed as well. But here we have it. So today I'm going to show you how to do these um, different baby blankets, wall hangs, nursery decor, whatever you want to call it. And I hope you'll have fun working with me today, making your very own cute little adorable baby blanket. Amazing. Oh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I forgot you were there. Woo. And there we go. They're awesome, aren't they? I love it. Oh. Let me clue you in. I also have some other uh, panels that I haven't started working with. Um, but I'm going to hopefully finish these soon. These are butterflies. I love these. These are awesome. Um, this is a pre-done, pre-stitch quilt backing. And I know some quilt enthusiasts will say this is cheating a little bit when you're buying the fabric already quilted together, basically. But, you know, if you just really don't have time but you want to make something handmade, this is the way to go. And there's no shame in it. I remember I did a couple of these blankets for some nieces and nephews and friends' children. And I remember them saying, and I don't know if it was an insult or a compliment, they were like, oh, like, where'd you buy those blankets that, you know, you gave the the kids? And I'm like, no, I made them. And so, they, so that's just how good these things can turn out. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Feel free to stop back by anytime. And well, hey, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you something really neat and groovy to do. This is a piece of fabric that you can use as a baby blanket. It's already quilted, as you can see. Let me see if I can get in close. It's already quilted. And what I did, you buy this fabric by the yard. Let me see if I can hold it up for you. So you can go to the store and you can buy this blanket binding um, and it opens up because what you're going to do is you're just going to slide the fabric inside and then you're just going to stitch along the edge. As you can see, 
what I did here, here's the edge and how it looks. It's unfinished. And you can see this is a really pretty fabric. And hopefully, let me go in a little close. You can see it already has the quilting stitches in it for you. And this is really one of the most beautiful pieces of fabric I've seen in a while. And at first, I initially just stitched a straight stitch right along the edge. But that didn't really look pretty enough. So I was able, let's see if I get the machine to zoom in here. I was able to make my have my machine do a straight stitch, a little star, a straight stitch, a little star. And I think, hopefully you can see this, it actually brings out the edging in the blanket much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to line this up on your machine and do your stitching. And in less than an hour or so, you will have a beautiful baby blanket that you can give as a gift or keep for yourself. Okay, so you have your blanket, you have your, your blanket pinned completely. You've got your edges ready to go. So let me see which edge I was working with. Obviously it's the opposite edge. So I did a straight stitch here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna straight stitch all along all the other three sides of the blanket. Then I'm going to go back over it with, hope you can see this, the little tiny star-shaped um, stitch. And once you're done, you will have a beautiful, beautiful baby blanket for, to, as a keepsake for yourself or as a gift. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick little video. And have a great day and thanks for watching.